Okay, this is Dr. Brent Wright on how to use the calendar method for birth control. Although I don't personally recommend it, it is acceptable by some people. Uh, although I would also recommend uh, uh, condoms uh, to prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Uh, if you're in a marital relationship and that's not a concern, uh, its success rate for the calendar method is not as high as other forms of contraception. So what you're giving up uh, is the higher risk of pregnancy with the calendar method. But the calendar method is, is based on basically finding that time where it's most likely to, to conceive. And first of all, you have to sometimes do basal body temperature chart or check your cervical mucus. If you have a normal 28-day cycle, the most likely time that you're going to ovulate is that day 14. And assume that your, uh, the egg can live for 24 to 48 hours. You go out each two days of that and then block those off because that's the time of ovulation. Then you go out another three days saying that sperm can live that long. So you block out all this time when you can't have sexual relationships. So you find the day of ovulation and you can have a variation of a few days of that each cycle. So you block those out. So you have to block out those 48 hours for the egg, 72 hours each way. So that's three, five days each there plus two other days. So you, there's basically 12 days out of the cycle that you're not going to be having sexual relationships. And that's how the calendar method works. Um, it's not the one I would recommend, but I know that some people in the very natural try to space out their pregnancies doing this. Um, it doesn't allow for n the sexual relationships uh, that can sometimes just occur naturally and you have to be very uh, aware of when you can get pregnant. That does not include withdrawing from sexual relationships or anything else that because sometimes people uh, the pre-ejaculate has higher contraception or higher sperm concentration than uh, the regular ejaculate so you can't be doing the withdrawal method and everything else with this that means no sexual relationship during that period of time so the calendar method works by excluding all those days from sexual relationship that's dr brent wright discussing how to use the calendar method for contraception